Welcome to ITG's Listen and Learn series. My name is Mary Elizabeth Bowden, and I am a soloist and founder of Seraph Brass, also a professor at Shenandoah Conservatory. I am so excited to share some practice tips on Bach's famous concerto, his Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 2. <laughs> practicing this very slowly to make sure that I can connect between the notes. There's no gaps of air in between the notes. I start with the highest points of the piece and I isolate these spots so I can build ease and comfort in the higher register and also build my stamina. I'm going to share with you how I practice some of these high points from the first page of the concerto.
However, now I hold myself to a higher standard and I've learned how to play the A with one and two, which makes it a bit more in tune. Some steps moving forward are making sure that you practice with a metronome, slowly building the tempo over time to make sure that you're keeping the same connection between the notes that you have at the slower tempo. I practice the concerto in chunks and I add measures of rest in between the chunks, as many as I need, to be able to play through the piece successfully. Over time, I diminish the number of rests as I build more strength. Finally, I listen to the phrasing and musicality of the piece and really get into the joyous spirit of this concerto. Once you are on stage with the other soloists and orchestra, it is quite an exhilarating experience and your energy really bounces off the other musicians. Best of luck as you start your Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 2 journey. Thank <music> you.